uh, just outside so if you hear any noise that's why so I just want to discuss something that's been happening again uh, my father targeting me um, sorry about the donkey and the donkey somewhere in the valley um, you know <laughs> It's not laughing matter, but you know, the excitement when I start recording the donkey does that. Um, yeah, um, so today I uh, get a message from, sorry, yesterday I get a message from my dad asking me if I uh, want to go to this new leisure centre that he's been going to that I, I went to years ago. So, oh, okay, you know what I mean. Um, they muted my phone so I didn't hear him calling me uh, called him um, immediately his hands to the phone <coughs> and then he starts talking to me so I know he's gonna be trying I've been targeting back you know it's weird it's like on the surface we're acting like everything's okay but at the same time we're psychologically attacking each other me in response to him targeting me and him targeting me so he's been doing hand signals he's been um, coughing uh, in that repetitive way to try and sensitize me um, I've noticed it stepped up since I had a disagreement with my family I guess this is his way of trying to get revenge on me because I'm starting to think now that he, he's the covert aggressive type of personality you know what I mean because the way he's acting he acts like everything's okay but targeting me so you know it's just something I've come to accept but I don't care if your family if you target me I will target you back even if you're my own father so yeah but yeah as soon as I answer the phone <laughs> all right and, uh, you know we have a disagreement about the targeting he's trying to say you know there's no way the government could do this and that it's impossible but you know I'm like completely pointing out how it is possible and not only that how the government has a long history of you know human experimentations of course he has no argument for that All right? it's just like kind of acting like okay you know it's like you, ne you never convinced me I guess they're trying to get him to convince me, but you'll never convince me this is all in my head. I know what's being done. I know what a coercive persuasion program is. I know what is happening. There's no one on this damn earth that can tell me it's all in my head or it's all coincidence. It's just not a coincidence, okay? But again, they will try to, you know, get your family, right, to try and convince you that nothing's going on or to convince you to stop exposing it also family keep especially him keeps asking me what I'm doing so you know fair enough now and again it happens but I've noticed it's increased a lot he, like today he says what are you doing this afternoon right and also they've been getting friends to ask similar questions like the, this girl I was talking to she's like what are you thinking of doing so I, I can tell when they're trying to use my friends or my family to dig for information you know what I'm saying so I, I'm just like I don't know you know what I mean I'm just I just I to tell what they're doing so I'm like I don't know whatever I feel like you know I don't give them any uh direct information because I know they're digging for information I can tell going through this for five years you know I can I can pick up on that so yeah I mean it's, it's the last two weeks after a break due to trouble he started doing that again so I guess he's thinking okay I'm gonna target him to try and let him know you know I'm not happy or whatever but you know I'm gonna target him back that's fine you know it's if you want to target me, cool. But I'm going to target you back, even if you are my father. But the fucked up thing is, like, he acts like everything's normal, everything's okay, but targeting me. So at the leisure centre, you know, naturally they got the perps there. Um, these two young women. Every time I, uh, you know, swim in the pool past them, 
and they swim past me and they're like laughing not at me but laughing which is you know it's conditioning to sensitize you which there's something they've been doing I've noticed the last few days I've been having people walk past me like laughing and giggling but not looking at me so this is something they're doing you know as part of the sensitization so you know I start uh, basically sorry about the noise you know, I start, start basically um, you know someone just taking the bin out um, you know I start I start targeting them back and I see their reaction instantly change so every time they come past me on this when they're doing swimming I start doing hand signals you know I start touching my face touching my nose doing all the things that they try to do to me the reaction instant different they look pissed off right they look pissed off you know because I guess they thought oh yeah if we do this we're gonna piss him off but I just blank them out and I'd start targeting them back in my own way and you hear the house alarm going off now see you know that they're, they're letting me know they're not happy with what I'm doing but you know I'm gonna keep doing the video um, so yeah you know this is what they're doing so they keep doing that and then I guess they get fed up of being targeted so they kind of back off and then of course when I get dry when I go out to get dry they get out to get dry right another woman probably a handler she wasn't targeting me but she's doing the closed mouth thing looking at me with pinching her mouth like just a message to be quiet you know that they like they like to do a couple of one brake light cars on the way driving in front uh, my phone was full of videos so I wasn't able to capture that I didn't have time to copy them off so you know the usual BS but yeah you know they'll send people they know where you're going they'll send people you know some stupid little girls in uh, women's bodies and they can target me and not get targeted back. And I guess they thought, oh yeah, they're attractive, so I'm not going to target them. I'll target them. Well, they weren't that attractive. They were pretty but ugly on the inside, if that makes sense. They're not that attractive. They're like six and a half, seven out of ten. Nice bodies, but face were ugly. But yeah, that doesn't mean I'm not going to target you back. If you're a woman, I'll target you back. I'll target you back if you're targeting me. So, of course, as well, the pool's pretty quiet when we get there, and then loads of people turn up. Um, yeah, all, all the time. Well, not actually not in the pool, but I'm coming out of the pool, and my dad starts targeting me again, doing the coughing shit and the hand signals, covering his mouth, touching his face in a certain way. So, I, I start covering my mouth and coughing back when he coughs so you know the whole journey back we're targeting each other back you know it's like targeting each other the whole journey back so get home and uh, you know this is them like the noise you're hearing because it's been quiet and then as soon as I decide to make a video this house alarm goes off right it's, it just goes off like that this is the kind of stuff they do to try and maybe make me stop but it's not gonna work so yeah I mean getting a cold shoulder from my mother I've been not good terms with her for the last three weeks the old kind of I won't say blanking me out but treating me like I'm not a son almost treating me like a guest I don't give a shit you know what I mean it's, it's past came with giving a fuck about that to be fair you know I'm not really close to my family these days mm. mainly due to this program because they just will not support me in any way they will just um, you know basically say you know it's all in your head or it's not going on but you know it is there's no there's no denying um that it is in my eyes there's too many things to be a coincidence you know what I mean it's just not a coincidence but of 
course they want me to think that. So yeah, that, that's a few of the things they've been doing. Um, still messing with my phone, you know, I'm getting websites pop up that I've not clicked on. Um, muting my phone, turning the sound off. So, you know, they're still fucking with that. Um, subliminal targeting using the fire service so in my mum's village um, that vehicle I filmed a while ago that car fire department fire service car that was in my uh, mother's village parked up and the other day there was a police car parked up in this bit near my house so you know they've been very s kind of slick about targeting me NHS have kind of backed off now. There's not been so many sirens, but uh, you know they they're going for the more kind of visual shit now, like with the uh, subliminal messaging and all this kind of shit and some noise, but not as much as the last three weeks. In fact, I haven't heard any ambulance sirens today. It's been quiet, so that they've kind of backed off with that. You know, these, these motherfuckers, man, it's like, they do, man. And they, um, when they're being exposed, they will kind of back off a bit and try other things. So that's basically what they're doing. And they're kind of backing off somewhat, but doing other things. As you can hear, instead of the ambulance sirens, now we've got the house alarm going off. So, of course, honking as well. Uh, yeah, as well, I, I don't really hear any motorbikes in the minute. It's very quiet. There's not been many motorbikes. The last three weeks, every day, has been constant noise from motorbikes, cars, revving up the street. You know, it's, I can hear one now, but it's, it's been pretty quiet. So it's not been it's not been quite as bad today. So again, I guess they're kind of trying to hide it by doing other things. You know, I'll, I'll point out and expose, you know, what they're doing. But yeah, you know. that wasn't running, that house alarm wasn't going, as soon as I make a video, it starts going, little jokes and shit that they like to do to try and put me off making my video, but I will make the video, I'll describe exactly what they're doing, especially including family members, what they're doing. I have a feeling my dad watches my videos sometimes, you know, but I will, I will expose what he's doing. Um, because he, he's been, last year, he's been getting involved uh, doing certain things that I know is deliberate. You know, I know it's not the technology. It's uh, intentionally being done. Like it just answers the phone. The first thing I hear is <coughs> like that, you know. So he he's doing the same things the perps are doing. So he's he's been either convinced to do it, which I think it doesn't it doesn't seem intimidated to do it. But they've somehow they have got him involved doing this, maybe by telling him lies about me to make him think he's doing the right thing. But I will expose it. You know, I will expose it. And you perps are the donkeys. Just hear that noise. I won't be surprised if that's them making that noise. Somehow making that animal make that noise. You know what I mean? With the technology, they can manipulate things like that. They can manipulate people. So, yeah, they can manipulate animals. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt they did that to try and send a subliminal message. But yeah, also, you know, talking to subliminal messages, you have the, you know, the video they recommended on my YouTube, which is a child sex theme. You know, I didn't, 
got any videos to do with that yet it popped up on my YouTube okay this is them this is how they trying to paint me with a label or theme so they can say look this is his video he's been watching this is his history of his video you know what I'm saying I can tell what they're doing so I'll expose that straight up what, what you're doing you're the pedophiles not me you know, and I know that for a fact that you're paedophiles. I can't say I'm here why I know you motherfuckers are paedophiles, but I know you fucking paedophiles. Yeah, they tried to, you know, name TIs as paedophiles. It's one of the labels they like to use. Paedophile, drug addict, rapist. They love to use these labels on TIs. But these people are everything and, and plus that. You know, these motherfuckers are real paedophiles and rapists the raping people in this program you know of the amount of TIs that are female I've heard that have been sexually abused you know and the technology is rape it's mind rape when they're raping you they you know microchip people they use the remote neural monitoring that's not consensual is it so that's rape so these people are the rapists and the paedophiles you know what I mean so, you know, they, but of course they've got to project what they are on to try anyway to project what they are onto us as TIs. Yeah. This is uh, what they're doing. You can hear the alarm when it starts. But, uh, yeah. Also, um, you look at things are getting more and more um, draconian in Australia. They recently police raided their local broadcaster because they, in 2017, exposed a leak about basically military personnel abusing people in Iraq or Afghanistan, something like that. They came in, broke in, seized all their equipment. So this is how they're trying to take away you know, the right to expose corruption in the government. They're starting over the red wing now, I guess. But yeah, this is how they are trying to take away that. So, you know, they, they're trying to take away your freedoms, trying to intimidate you to like say, hey, if you expose that corruption, we're gonna lock you up. You know, you're going to be arrested and charged with spreading secrets. Now, you got to ask yourself, why is it a fucking secret, right? Why you motherfuckers are abusing people? It's a fucking secret. It's a stay secret, right? You know what I mean? Motherfuckers don't think about that. These motherfuckers, man, are abusing people, killing people. They're keeping it hidden by using the theme of national security. That's what the fuck they're doing. So, you know, they're just having a little strop and revving cars. Right. Well, you, you know, this, this is how they do it, you know. This is how they hide things these days. It's, it makes me laugh. The, the fucking Queen and Trump and fucking Theresa May today trying to... These people should be shot in the head. It's like they got the nerve to talk about what the veterans did in World War II right yeah they're the ones that are letting our freedoms be taken away right now the Nazis never left they're fucking here right now in government right <laughs> so they, and then these two faced cunts that are going like oh we're so uh, what's the word we're so grateful for what you did in World War Two for protecting our freedom and all this shit when these bastards are letting you know our freedoms be taken right now and trying to take our freedoms these same people these same people in power and they're, they're, the, they're as bad as the Nazis they're just smarter at hiding it and manipulating people with the mind control and the um, technology that they have 
these people should be uh, tried, definitely hung, in my opinion, because the amount of people they've killed and are killing and will kill is just astounding. And they're terrorists, you know, they're terrorists. Yeah, they're the real terrorists. They're the real terrorists. These people. So, it's ridiculous, really, what's going on. These, these bastards have got the nerve to try and say they're grateful for what happened in World War II, for what the sacrifices the troops made. And these bastards are trying to do what the Nazis did again. These, these fucking scumbags, it makes me pissed off really does. Now that bullshit's shut off. Like, it really does get me angry, the two-facedness of these bastards. Especially Theresa May, that spineless bitch. She was only sad because she, she only cried on her when she announced resigning because she had to step down. She wasn't crying because she couldn't deliver Brexit. She was crying because she had to step down. Because she, she lost power like a little child that is sad that their toy's been taken away. Because these people are psychopaths and they not only that, they're psychopaths, they're sociopaths, they only care about themselves. They don't give a fuck about the people. They don't give a shit. And they don't give a fuck what anyone says that Trump's gonna make everything better. That bastard's just as bad. He's letting all this shit happen. He's not protesting against this chemtrailing, he ain't protesting against this uh, corruption in government. He's just as bad. So I don't, I don't, I knew who, I don't, you know, anyone they let into office, whether president, prime minister these days, is just gonna be the same. And if he doesn't, they'll whack them, just like they did with JFK. They'll whack them, and that's it. Simple as that. They keep in line, or they get killed, or targeted. That's how they keep the politicians under the thumb. They don't let politicians. A politician that wants to make things better, they'll target them, they'll put them in this program, or they'll even kill them. Of course, they'll, like what they tried to do with, um, I'm pretty certain this was deliberate, you know, what they tried to do with, uh, what's his name, uh, I can't remember his name now. The guy, what's his fucking name? I can't remember his name, but one of the two guys with Bar the other guy, not Boris Johnson, the other guy, he, you know, he had a plane crash and then he had a car crash in the space of a few years, and he's pro-Brexit, right, and they're trying to, um, what was it, say he committed fraud or something, and then Boris Johnson, the same thing, they're trying to say he lied or something like that, so they're trying everything to get rid of these people that they don't want politicians have got it even worse if you're a politician and you're against the people in power oh my you know that you got what your back they they'll they might try and make your car crash they might try and make your plane crash poison you make it look like you had a heart attack or drug overdose that's how they do it you know i was having a discussion with my dad and he's like oh why if you think this is going on, the government have far easier ways to kill people, they could just shoot you in the head, it's like, think about it, if if the government goes around, if the hundreds of people are getting shot in the head that are political dissidents, or, well, that's what they call us, you know, let's say you're opposed to what the government are doing, there's going to be people asking questions, hey, is there some kind of death squad going around, you know, they aren't, the government aren't just going to go around and shoot people in the head. They aren't just going to shoot thousands and thousands of people they don't like in the head. No, what they're going to do is put them in this psychological harassment program so they can keep them under control or drive them crazy or get discredit them, just like what happened in Soviet Russia when they put them in the... Um, they used the med medical system to, you know, put them in the psych... Psych psychotherapy thing, whatever it's called, I can't remember his fucking name, but they put them in the in the hospital saying they're mentally ill. They do the same thing now. And they try to say people like us are crazy, you know, we're deluded or whatever they want to say. But this is a, a power they use to try and 
this they don't need to pull, pull it in your head and they have this psychological program they they can kill you without firing a shot they can take away everything try and well, if, if you're like probably like 70 percent of people they can take away everything your relationships your money your property everything because most people don't know what's going on or don't believe it's going on and that's the biggest danger of this program they don't think it exists or they think it's not possible like my dad thinks oh no there's no way the government will be able to do that the same government that has nuclear submarines the same government that has you know so much technology and spends so much every year on technology right a few cars with subliminal messages, because that's what we're talking about, a few cars with subliminal messages on it, that's nothing to the government's budget. It's nothing. The government has the state of the art fired, yes. You think a few cars with a number plate to target individuals is a dent in the government's budget and then they hung, right? It's not. It's not a dent in the budget. But the government will, governments will do anything no matter how much it costs to try and keep control to try and keep people under control get rid of people they don't like keep people suppressed they don't like or keep them contained because like, that's not what they're trying to do with me they stop me commenting on my YouTube they stop people being able to comment on me it's like I'm talking about with RT you know they put like a force field around you to keep you contained so they try to put like a force field around your life so you can't reach out to anyone they isolate you even from your own family turn your own family against you isolate you that's what they do so you know anyone that says this is impossible I think you should research Z, Z can't pronounce it, it's a zone that happened in East Germany, you know, and that was real, and then my dad's like, oh, well, you know, it's not East Germany, well, so what, that doesn't matter, if there's people that are corrupt, and they can do this, especially if they make, convince you, that shows how, how strong their conditioning is, they condition you to think you're in a free society, yeah, they, that, that's how they can even do it more because if they've conditioned you to think it's impossible or they never do it, then they're going to do it because who's going to believe it, right? That's the danger of this program. Because if you don't think it's possible to be done, you're not going to know. You're not going to believe it's being done, are you? Unless you're critically thinking like me. 70% of people aren't they can't they can't figure it out they can't they have to be told from someone that it's going on but I don't need to be told from someone that it's going on as soon as this started happening to me I knew something was going on because I'm, I'm like that guy I'm, you know I'm, I'm kind of guy that I believe what my mind's telling me well, more, more like what my eyes are telling me if I, if I see every day there's one headlight cars popping up everywhere I go out of nowhere and they weren't before they definitely weren't before right or I wouldn't notice it then I know something's not right alright so you can't fucking tell me it's a coincidence when it wasn't fucking happening before I wasn't fucking getting ambulance sirens every day nearly for three weeks before every fucking day like five six seven eight sirens going past near my houses every fucking day you know, I wasn't getting that when I was in Sheffield. I'd get, get my bus, and every time I got my bus before I started filming, an ambulance would come down with the sirens on and honk as it went past me. Alright? That wasn't happening before. Yet yeah, people will still say you're delusional. They'll still say it's in your head. They'll still say you're paranoid bugging or why they want to say when to me it's so obvious something is wrong but they 
they just can't believe it because they're brainwashed too stupid to, or too scared to accept it.